Hello everyone, this is Neil Shah from CounterPoint Research and we are here in CounterPoint Conversations uh, in New Delhi for the Snapdragon for India event uh, and I have a very special guest with me, Qualcomm's in India's president, uh, Savi Soim and he has been Qualcomm for almost a uh, couple of decades, I would say, or more, 25 years, 25 years uh, and responsible for strategy and what Qualcomm is right now, I think his contribution is immense in terms of starting that strategy and partnerships. But now, since last one year, it's almost a year now, right? <laughs> Two days short of a year. <laughs> Two days short. So, uh, I think Mr. Savi has been given a very good mandate, important mandate for a very important market to democratize connectivity as well as AI for the masses, right? And uh, as you know, India is the second largest smartphone market or mobile market. And uh, we'll discuss what Qualcomm is up to and what they're launching today, some exciting launches and hand it over to Savi. If you can just uh, let us know what is your overall strategy right now since you came in and uh, how, how are you plan to democratizing connectivity, compute for India market? You know, thank you very much, Ed. Good to see you. Uh, so um, look at the, uh, you know, we've been, uh, it's been a year. It's, it seems like I've been here for a long time, but uh, two days less than a year. And, um, uh, you know, a lot, lot has changed and we've, I've learned a lot, right? Uh, um, you know, uh, we have, we have uh, uh, worked with a lot of partners in terms of, and I think one of the key things, I'm going to talk about it today, uh, I've learned how India does business, how business is done in India is based on two things, trust and relationship, right? A lot of that is done whether you can trust the other person and you have the relationship in the case of that. And it's, a, uh, some of the, it's not a transaction, right? Um, and, and that's it. It's a long-term play. It's not a short-term right. play. Uh, look, for Qualcomm, you know, India is a very important market. You know, uh, when you look at, um, you know, we, we have a, a very large team that mm. is developing products, you know, for the globe, right? Right. Um, uh, so the, today is very historic in many ways. One of the ways is, that we are finally India first product. We have a product that was designed in India for India, right? Wow. That is what's unique about one of the products that we're gonna talk about. Because at the end of the day, we want, we understand that to do business in India, I think mm. we're finally, uh, we have to, you know, it's, it's gotta be a unique way, right? There are some very unique use cases in India. Right. Um, th there are how people use the phone, how, or other, any other device, right? So, so at the end of the day, um, uh, I think we're very excited about the whole team Qualcomm is here. We have our engineering team here. We have pretty wow. much every function in India is is coming to this event. It's a team Qualcomm event, right? So it's good to get everybody together, uh, get the whole might of Qualcomm, you know, behind it. You know, so people are asking, hey, but your competitor is very aggressive and they're also investing. True. You know, what's unique about us is we have development teams here. Mm -hmm. So when you are an OEM, you're trying to do product, you're trying to innovate, you don't want to talk to a, a customer engineering only folk, right? You want to right. talk about development teams and the customer engineering folks, right? So that they, they, you're able to implement some of that stuff into products that are launching, right? So that's what's unique about Qualcomm. You know, we, we, our development teams are engaged with multiple customers mm. in, in India and trying to solve their problem or trying to solve, you know, address here's what you can do, the art of the possible with Qualcomm. So I'm super excited. It sounds like I've been here for a for years, but it's a little less than a year. Yeah, it's uh, super exciting times as well when we are entering the AI era as well. But at the same time, 5G is maturing in these markets as well. Uh, we have almost 1.4 billion population, 900 million mobile phone users, but still <clears throat> half a billion users don't have 5G in their hands. It's a massive opportunity to empower them with 5G connectivity. So can you talk about like how you went about talking to customers and the design teams to build a solution which is unique for India and also optimize it with the carriers as well. Right? Yeah. So I think, uh, look, uh, uh, <coughs> this started a little bit before I joined, right? Uh, but our teams, our product teams in, uh, in the US and in India sort of said, okay, here's the opportunity that you just identified. That's how they started. So, okay, here's the opportunity in India first. And then once we are successful in India, right, we can parallel do other things um, in other geographies as well, right? But India first, right? Uh, we then looked at, you know, work with, with the carriers on what their launch plans were, when, mm. when they were 
when when it's pan India, what is the SA network so the and all of that stuff. Um, and then we looked at what price points we work with the OEMs on on you know how to optimize the bomb, right? right. Uh, how to optimize the cost so that the device can hit those speed, the sweet spot that we are looking for. So we work very closely with with the ODMs as well as mm. uh, OEM partners to be able to optimize that cost. And then, you know, and hopefully, you know, Q4, you'll see a lot of these products com coming out. Right? But we're not done. I think more needs <laughs> to be done and be affordable. Right. Uh, you know, as you know, there are, you know, I was, I was just at an aero place and, uh, and uh, you know, the gentleman there was telling me that he sells about 22 devices and, and, yeah. and he said of the 22 devices, 14 are on EMI, EMI, right? So I think there's a lot more to be done uh, okay. to go at, like the, the target audience that you mentioned, it would yeah. be good to get, you know, the right affordability plan so they can afford a 5G device. Absolutely. And if you look at out of, out of those uh, 500 million, if you leave out them, not even out of that, leave out them, there's still new uh, a new segment which is coming is students, like 200 million users, which are just uh, students, right? And their first smartphone, they would like to have a 5G smartphone, right? And they are not going to buy an iPhone or to not buy a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So I think bringing the 5G price points below 10K, I think it's massive uh, achievement for everyone in the ecosystem. Yeah. No, I, I we're just getting started. Right. <laughs> and uh, maybe I can extend this conversation a bit uh, from, so you... You have figured out a formula where you can help OEMs with the bomb and bring a affordable 5G smartphone. Can you apply the same learnings for other devices, other categories like IoT, FWA, to democratize broadband as well? By the way, absolutely. There's one other thing I learned, by the way, in India is bomb optimization. Bomb optimization. Right? That is a, a very important, uh, very important thing, right? Uh, and, uh, and and absolutely. I don't think there is anything that we sell here that we're not able to to optimize the entire uh, cost for the OEM. It doesn't work, right? Now, we're not going to optimize a scooter per se, but right, at right, least absolutely. we can optimize uh, the uh, the, exactly the TCU unit yeah. or we can the smart cluster or something. Yeah. Right? All of those, we actually go into deep with engineering. That's why mm -hmm. it's very good to have our engineering team here. Because they look at what are the other components, what do we optimize it, we work very closely with the OEMs here in India, right, to, to go figure out, you know, okay, how about this, uh, uh, FWA is a very important market, right. as you know, already know, and access points as well. We absolutely would not have any business if we did not optimize. Great. And uh, so we are also entering the AI era. So you are democratizing 5G, but we are also trying to democratize AI as an X. Uh, maybe in smartphones, you already started, right, going with mainstream. Maybe in a few years, we'll see reaching six series, four series, uh, but even PCs. And it's a very important segment as well. Uh, so we saw at Microsoft Build, you sweep the market with uh, industry first co-pilot plus PCs. So now those are coming to India as well. And I, I was following your launches over the last few weeks, yeah. right? So how excited are you about that? Very excited. Very, very excited. In fact, I just, I think I'm pretty or tomorrow I'm going to get my, my uh, PC. Oh, really? Copilot Plus <laughs> PC, like I've been asking, right? Uh, so very excited to uh, to see what the use cases in India. I think they're going to be very unique to uh, how, you know, our uh, our uh, our folks are using it in, in the U.S., right? So I think uh, we're very excited. I think uh, uh, we are other things in the works. Mm. This India first, we're not done. It's not the only Only. chip. And then we are going to not talk about India first again. We have other things in, in the yeah. works on, on other other segments. So mm. we can talk about how this was developed for India and then it scales right. to the globe. And I, I really like the pivot Bulk has done. And you, are, you, you have been in strategy, so you'll understand it better on how I interpret it. Like from hardware to software and services. And with the AI stack, I think what you guys are doing is bringing the ecosystem together. And lo localization is very important, right? For India market, as we are discussing, the software localization, even the data models, which will be in the AI PC or AI smartphones, localizing them is going to be super important. So I believe your channel strategy, developer strategy will be also very India specific, I yeah. would say. That yeah. will be a part of yeah. your strategy. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That's what we're looking for. Great. Uh, we, have a we had a developer conference in Hyderabad. Mm. Uh, we're going to have a lot more. I think we have another one coming up very soon. So 
Absolutely. Yeah, we, so Qualcomm is all about innovation and partnership. Right. Right. That is the beauty of the company that we, I've been working for 25 years, right? And <laughs> it's about innovate, but then you partner, right? You partner with companies that can take that tech and develop use cases on top. Some we do, some, you know, right. some we partner with others to go develop. So what phone are you using? You're using a Fold? Samsung Fold. So maybe we can uh, do a challenge between us. Yeah. Maybe once the the sub 10K 5G launches, Fold, yeah. we both will use it for a month and Perfect. see. Let's do that. Okay. 100%. Yes. Great. I'll get it to you by uh, very soon. Yes, great. And exchange notes on that. Absolutely. And then let's actually, we go to the... Uh, I uh, love to love to actually go uh, go to a market and see what's uh, what's actually happening. Absolutely, because yeah. uh, why I was saying this because we are used to the premium phones. I agree, right? And to understand what needs in a sub 10k phone and how different it going to be from a 4G sub 10k phone experience and what is going to unlock more for different users. It's going to be very man. I will, I'll tell you. I I went to another place. Uh, you know, uh, uh, my friend Sumit. Uh, uh, was like pushing me in. I was like, okay, but I learned so much. I'll tell you how the consumers think about it. Like I was talking to the rickshaw guy and he was telling us why he uses 5G, right? He was mm -hmm. like, I have a 5G phone, but it's very expensive. So I leave it at home. I use this uh, button phone, he called it. Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so we say, hey, well, if the phone, if the button phone was, uh, if you had a phone that was 8,000, would you be carrying it in the scooter? He said, yeah, <laughs> right? But because he's cool and expensive, he leaves it at home, right? right? I'm sure... Somebody at home is actually using that uh, as that a hotspot, maybe <laughs> as a hotspot, right? Exactly, right. So imagine if you can bring that affordability, right? And yeah. then you know, I, I was fascinated by the scooter rickshaw had a this the a very uh, it was a it was a rubber band and it was a very tight rubber band. Like yeah. I was like, man, it doesn't move. It's hard, you know? Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> exactly, right. So to your point, it's very important. And I I learned a lot about how people are thinking about this. How yeah. people are, and in even in fact, I'll tell you another one. Um, uh, is, uh, uh, you know, I was talking to, as you know, we bring more and more uh, to leading nodes. Right? Yeah, yeah. So this gentleman, I, I, he's like, oh, this is, uh, you know, so we went into the store and he was telling us, you know, about this product. Uh, it's one of the Xiaomi products. I said, well, this is a, 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 a six nanometer. Or okay. I can't remember the six or four. But he was like, well, th this is, so I said, what, is it, what does that mean? And he said, uh, you know, uh, uh, smaller is better. And mm -hmm. so I was like, what do you mean? Well, why? Right? Mm -hmm. And he said, I'll give an example. He says, the garden is hose hoti hai na, the pipe hoti yeah. hai. Usko aage se block karo, to chota ho jata hai. Jab chota ho jata hai, to pani fast aata hai. <laughs> Kata hai, yehi hai. Chota ho gaya aapka. <laughs> so as a result, you know, the processor is faster. Right. I was like, Man, that's a very uh, innovative way to explain to a, uh, a you to a, to the user and say, hey, this this is the reason why you're, you know, this is the, seg the segments of low nodes, right? Yeah. And so so to learn a lot. So absolutely, I take you up one month. <laughs> yes, let's do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you the phone and we'll do it. Yes, thank you very much, very Ali, much. for good the chat. Good and always good to see you. Absolutely. Thank you.